So explain, you know, to people who don't understand how publishing works and why you keep getting paid from a hit song that came out 20 years ago. Well, yeah, I'm glad you asked that question because a lot of people underestimate publishing. I mean, when an artist is at their peak, including myself, when I was at my peak, the royalty check was everything. Um, and that was, you know, every six months you got this big lump of money from the label for record sold, and that's all you paid attention to. Um, but publishing is a little bit different in the way it works. It's consistent, it's long money, um, especially if you keep your song out there, if you work it. Um, it's not just the BMI ASCAP side. That's usually all people look at. They look at their BMI and ASCAP checks, and that comes from plays. You know, you get plays on radio, plays on video, and they collect for you. That's cool, and that can be good money. Um, but more importantly, there are mechanicals. For every time that song sells, you are supposed to get a mechanical share. So if it, let's just hypothetically say it's 10 cents. I, I know it's lower than 10 cents, but let's say it's 10 cents per song, up to 10 songs on the album, they prorate it after that. Up to 10 songs on the record, and Baby Got Back is one of those songs. So that 10 cent, you half of that 10 cent goes to whoever did the music, the other half goes to whoever did the writing, the lyrics. And um, I maintain both sides of it on, on probably 98% of all my songs. Um, and that's how it worked for me, really. It's just, just trying to get it done. Of course, you get people come out the woodwork <laughs> that want to get checks because I was in the studio with you, bro. What are you talking about? I handed you the pen you wrote that with. But other than that, I mean, that's how it works. And, it's, and it is something that even myself, I underestimated early on. We, had, we got a big publishing deal early on. It was a big check. I went out. I spent the check fast. I ain't going to lie to you. I was stupid and young. Then I realized, wait a minute, it behooves me to go out and earn this capital back at the time I was dealing with Polygram. Because if you bust your ass to get Polygram that money back and you recoup, you start collecting. Now, let's say you own your own publishing and you try to collect yourself. Who's going to take me serious when I go, this is mix a lot call and I need my money? Please, you know, get somebody real to call. So I realized that earning that money back became important. And every deal I've Every deal I've entered into, every single one to date, I've recouped over 100% and made money again. Because, I mean, the Pussycat Dolls, here's another perfect example. When I did the song Swass, I never thought it was going to be anything. And when the Pussycat Dolls did Don't You, which is Swass, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't combative. You know, when CeeLo called and when, and when Notting Hill called and said, we want to work this out, get this Pussycat Dolls song. The Pussycat Dolls were already at, already at a half a million. So why would I come out and say I'm going to sue somebody? That's stupid. That's dumb business. It looks good on television, but it's dumb business. So what I decided to do was work with Notting Hill. Pussycat Dolls kept on cruising, and they made their money. That's how you leverage your publishing. It's important to understand it's still business. Some people just protect their songs with it. I'm not saying no names. Some of my favorite artists sit on their songs for their whole career and tell you you can't touch it. Then they go broke. That's not how you use publishing.